For a part of your body that's so tiny, your ear works incredibly hard. We talk about three main kinds of ear infection, and in fact, they're all inside the bits of the ear that you can't see. So if a doctor looks in through your ear with an otoscope, he is seeing the outer ear canal. And an outer ear infection is more common if your ears get wet a lot, say if you're a swimmer. It's often caused by a fungal infection or sometimes a bacterial infection, and it can cause pain and sometimes discharge and blockage with muffled sound. The treatment will usually be with topical eardrops. Your GP should also be able to see your eardrum, and behind that is your middle ear. In children in particular, middle ear infections are very common, and they cause severe pain. They can also cause bulging of the drum, which your doctor can see, and sometimes your eardrum can perforate, releasing foul-smelling pus. Interestingly, that often relieves the symptoms. Many of those infections are caused by viruses, so actually they often don't need treatment. But with persistent pain or pain on both sides or severe infections, your doctor may recommend antibiotics. Then there's inner ear infections. Your inner ear, deep inside, is where your balance mechanisms sit. And that means that inner ear infections often don't cause pain, but you may have what's called vertigo, so a sensation of the room spinning round and dizziness, feeling and being very sick. Again, it's often caused by a virus infection, and while you can feel horrible in the short term, it does usually settle within a week or two.